Hi friends, it's India Footy, back with another video. In this video we will preview the Indian Super League match number 92, which will be played between ATK Mohan Bagan and FC Goa later this evening at Athletic Stadium in Bambulim. With 6 matches remaining for ATK Mohan Bagan have ensured a stable platform with 26 points in their kitty, but final touches are still required to seal the fate. A win will tie them on points with league leaders Hyderabad FC. On the other hand, FC Goa's chances have looked bleak, with only 18 points in the bag in 16 matches. A loss here could very well mean the end of the season for the Gores in the race for qualification. The gap between them and the top four teams in the points table is gradually widening, which makes it necessary for the Gores to win all their remaining four games if they want to make it to the playoffs. However their last match against Chennai in FC showcased glimpses of what they are capable of achieving in the remaining matches. A win later this evening will help Derek Pereira and his boys climb to 7th place, which is a good jump as things stand right now. That said, it also needs to be mentioned that it will not be an easy task, given the current form of ATK Mohan Bagan. Havan Ferrano's coaching has seen the Mariners remain undefeated in their last 10 matches. Recently they have secured two consecutive wins, including the noteworthy 2-1 win over table toppers Hyderabad FC. Ferrano's former association with FC Goa will make the game an interesting affair. The Spaniard is likely to know about the Gore's strengths, while the latter would also be aware of what the tactician expects from his teams. ATK Mohan Bagan's Carl McHugh, Roy Krishna and Hugo Bumos are recovering well from their respective injuries but a call on their inclusion will be taken before the game after consulting with the medical team. Ferrano also spoke about Sandesh Jingan who made his return in the last match. But the Spaniard suggested that he will decide on the degree of his inclusion depending on the type of plan he uses in the next match against FC Goa. Both sides can be expected to use their default possession-based passing style of play, this means that both teams are likely to create many good goal-scoring opportunities and the team whose attacking firepower is the best will emerge victorious. While FC Goa have had problems on that front this season, they finished their chances well against Chennai in FC and that should give them a lot of hope. 